So you might be asking now, well, what is the LSAT? How do I do well on it? The LSAT is an exam that's about three and a half hours long. It used to be offered only four times a year, but now it's actually offered as many as nine or even 10 times a year going forward, in part due to increased competition with the GRE. You could take the GRE, maybe, but law schools are mostly considering that for people who have STEM, meaning like science, te technology, math backgrounds. If you're a humanities person, you're a pre-law person, the LSAT's going to be your option. Now, what's on the LSAT? The LSAT has three sections. It has logic games, which are like puzzles. They're like short, logical, mathematical sorts of puzzles. They're pretty scary at first, but they're actually quite learnable in the end. Then there's logical reasoning. This is half the exam. And these are short arguments. Sorry for my terrible handwriting here. These are short, bite-sized arguments containing evidence and conclusion. They're short paragraphs. You might be asked to strengthen an argument or weaken an argument or identify the main point or primary purpose of an argument. There is a free exam on LSAC's website. LSAC is the Law School Admission Council. If you go on there or you just Google June 2007 LSAT, you'll find a free LSAT practice test you can download and try out. Now, I wouldn't take the results of that diagnostic test as meaning anything at all, because chances are, you do it cold, you probably won't do very well. That's okay, I didn't do very well either my first time. The exam is learnable. And these two sections, logic games and logical reasoning, those are the harder parts of the exam. So you might do worse on them at first, but they are learnable. Then finally, and I'll write this over here, there's reading comprehension. This is very similar in appearance to what you see on the SAT or the ACT or the GRE, but it's actually looking for something very different. It's not looking for content. A lot of times in like English class or the SAT, you're asked to identify the tone, the topic, the conclusion of a passage. On the LSAT, they're looking for something different. They're looking for the argumentative structure. They want to see if you're able to track the major viewpoints being presented in the passage as the author goes about making their argument and presenting different viewpoints. Now, the LSAT has one section of games, two sections of logical reasoning, and one section of reading comp. So there's four sections altogether, just three different types of sections. Games, reasoning, reading comp. Reading comp, I wouldn't start there because you'll do okay. I'd start with games. You start with the games, they're scary at first, like I said, but they're very learnable. 